a Kazadi Films original. Welcome to the greatest game show in the country, Zambia. I am talking about Bankers and Robbers, the only show in the history of this country where your lying skills could pay your bills. My name is Kasanda Mwapi, and ladies and gentlemen, this is Bankers and Robbers. Hello and welcome to the only game show where you could win loads of money. I'm talking thousands of quarters and all you have to do is deceive the people standing right next to you. Yeah, that's all you need to do and you could win a lot of money. Now, in studio, I am joined by the country's finest lie detectors or liars, depending on how this particular game plays out. I'm curious, just like you. So let's meet our contestants, shall we? Vanessa, the student who wants to become the master. Hello. Terry, the vocalist who's hoping her sweet voice will make sure none of the boys vote against her. <laughs> yeah. Mike, the international businessman who can't tell anybody what business he's doing for legal reasons, of course. <laughs> London, but he's in Zambia. The man, the legend, the actor, and he's here to win as much money as he can. <laughs> Mwemba, the health tech, environmental health technologist. That's a lot of words. I think he does that deliberately so that people don't know what he's up to. <laughs> And last but not least, the diamond in the rough, Beyonce from Zambia herself. You know who it is. It's Toela, special guest. Yeah. Lots of Beyonce's on the show, you can tell. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, not forgetting a lovely assistant, Bianca. Got that money. All right. While my lovely assistant is going around handing out the bankers' checks, it's important to know that most of them are blank checks. One of them is the money check, but the most dangerous of all is the robber's check, as receiving this check puts you in danger of elimination. Why? Well, only eliminating the robber is the only guaranteed way to bank money. If you eliminate anybody outside of the robber, there are consequences. So whoever has the robber card has to convince everybody they don't have it. And for everybody else, they need to find who the robber is. Now, how much are we playing for? Well, only the banker knows that and he's about to tell us. That's the banker. Hello, Mr. Banker. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lovely faces today. I see you've changed things up a bit. Learned your lessons. Mm -hmm. Say that again. 50. All right. You must be feeling really good. Mm. All right, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the banker. And I'm sure you would be pleased to know all your lovely faces have excited the banker and he has decided for his pleasure and yours to put up a grand total of 50,000 kwacha. Yeah. That's right, 50,000 kwacha is at stake. That means throughout this game, you will get a chance to win the entirety of So it's up to us how we play the game. Now, Knowing our esteemed banker, unfortunately, there's a catch. Our sneaky little banker has decided that this is an immunity round. And what does that mean? It means the first person eliminated will nominate immunity to one of the playing contestants. What does that mean for you? Well, it means time to sell, sell, sell. Now you have cards in front of you, but before you find out, welcome Wimba, how are you doing? Very fun. I want to ask you one question. 50,000 kwacha. 
What would you do if you win that money today? Well, the Ronex isn't gonna bite. Oh, I see, man of plans, my guy. Nice and sweet. So ladies and gentlemen, right about now, I must invite you to have a very deliberate peek at your cards to find out what we will be doing. Little peep, make sure nobody can see. There we go. Oh, we got the money. Ah, I like the confidence already. The salesmanship has ah, begun. Everybody looks good, eh? Yes, sir. Now, be mine. in a few minutes, we shall open the trading floor and I will give you a chance to speak to each other, give your manifestos, sell yourselves, attack someone, ask critical questions, but whatever you do, get as much information as you can to find out who the robber is. Now, unfortunately, the banker has not told us how much is in this round, so we don't know. Except the person, obviously, with the money, but then who has the money? The trading floor is open. Your time begins now. Why are you shaking? Am I shaking? Yeah. Well, London, it's you. London. I swear, because you were so excited. Yeah. It's like, I got the money. Because <laughs> I'm like, I thought, like, when you see the money, you are given. I'm like, oh, I wish you can give me this money. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if, you, if, you, if you're gonna if you're gonna put me out, that means the robber is gonna be amongst you, which is a danger. <laughs> That's a good point. There's yeah. consequences that yeah. come with keeping the robber. Yeah. So um, you have the money. I have the How money. How much do you have? Thirty thousand. Whoa, mm -hmm. that's a lot of money. Yeah, it's thirty thousand out of fifty thousand. Yeah, yeah. I wish I could show you. I wish I could. It's very difficult, like to tell through like thirty pin in the first, first round. Nah, yeah, perform it. I wish I can show everybody the money. No, I can also say I have the money. Okay, what do you have? I can have twenty. I can have thirty. What, what do you have? have? No, I won't tell you what I have. <laughs> oh. I don't want to tell anybody what I have because then mm. I don't want to put it out there. But I yeah. definitely don't have the robust card. Why? How? Do what do you mean? Know? Oh, sure. Okay, now. Vanessa. No, like well, I seriously I have, don't have a blank card. card. Vanessa. What? What everyone has. Hey. 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 I have a blank check. So oh, both yeah. of you have blanks. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Sorry, guys. Blank check. Oh. Blank check. Money. I got a blank check. Anonymous blank check. What do you have? Is it only me who thinks uh, celebrities have the money? You never know. You never know. You I never know. know. Okay, I definitely have a blank check though. I have a blank check. Same I thing. got a blank if check. I, if I had to mm. choose who, blank check. Then I think if the robber is either him or you. Or me. Yes. <laughs> wow. You know one thing about me? Uh -huh. I get excited when I, when I see figures. I think I mentioned when we had the backstage. Some I mean, that could get, be strategic. Some people Very get like really nervous when they're like, who? Because then it was like, he just opened it and said, like, I got the money. You have a very good point. He's the only person who's like, he was just like, I have the money. Oh, Which was the part? The crazy part, you know? A little odd. Like, everybody was still like, Processing so they know right. their move, mm. but then it was like, Because I, I was in a hurry, I only mm. check what's in there, mm. you know? Mm. And, okay, to, no. to be honest with everybody, I think like my brother has a robber, and you're gonna agree with me by the end of Excuse it. Excuse Why, because me. everybody's picking on you now. No, 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 I saw, I saw you shaking, bro. I saw you shaking. For everyone who's agreed to having the money. I haven't shaken, bro. <laughs> yeah, I mean, But I really do believe he has the money. About your beard. You do. <laughs> you think so right. Yeah, I do believe he has the money though. Because yeah. yeah, nobody has said right. um, they, they have the money. Mm -hmm. yeah. We can't take his word when he says, I have the money. Because even I can say, I have the money. Right. I can, but you yeah. didn't say it. Yes. Yeah, you can say it. No, you are allowed to say, say it. That's why I had to say no, it. But I said, my point was, like, he can't use that, like, we can't say he's lying or he's saying the truth because Jassy said that I have the money. Sounds it's like a robot. you. <laughs> yeah, Sounds like your a voice is shaking, <laughs> bruh. It's not me. It's because like I'm on the spot. Ooh, That's no. why. The two people that I'm suspicious of uh -huh. is this beautiful lady over here. Yeah. And my good looking friend. So over you there. don't think she's an honest person? She's a woman, man. Which woman is honest? Oh. <laughs> Okay. Ouch! That's hurtful. Ooh, wow. <laughs> That's very hurtful. Okay, I'll yeah. put it out there. Please I will not suspect her because things. I need her to reply to the DM. Yeah, she's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a huge crowd. Yeah, understand that. Ladies and gentlemen, the trading floor is now closed. Now, I hope our contestants got enough information to make 
a very critical decision. Remember, we do not know how much the banker has put in this round, and they're playing for a total of 50,000 kwacha. A lot of big decisions have to be made. It's time to get voting. Contestants, you only have one vote. The voting plaques are right in front of you on your little booths. I will invite you to take them down. Take a minute and write down who you think is the liar. Who you think is not being honest about what they have. Now, while our contestants are making their very difficult decisions, can you guess who will win the money at the end? Well, if you can, you stand a chance to win 5,000 kwacha. All you have to do is predict correctly who will remain, who will be the last man or woman standing. And if you can get that right, text that name to the number scrolling down below. And don't forget to like the page. Now, let's check back with our contestants. You made your decisions? Yes, yeah. We did. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it could be 50,000 on your um, little board there. Nice. Oof, I hope your spidey senses are right. It's time to, you know, put your money where your mouth is. Terry, how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling good. Good I stuff. think I'm feeling confident, yeah. You're feeling very confident. Now, so Terry, it's time for you to reveal who are you voting to leave us in round one? <laughs> Mwemba! One vote, Mwemba! Why Mwemba? Because he was just awfully quiet and just awkward. He was he being gave awkward. Those vibes, isn't it? Yeah, I was just like, like it was awkward vibes. Awkward vibes. Okay, right. very okay. interesting. Mwemba, seems you've got one foot out the door and it's only round one. <laughs> Ironics ain't gonna bite him. Ah, I'm staying in the game. You're staying in the game? Yeah, I'm you're staying, staying in the game, focused. Right. Yeah, I'm focused. All right, so um, what was your strategy going into this? What was your way of <sighs> figuring out who was telling the truth and who's lying? Well, strategy aside, the Ranex ain't gonna buy itself. Strategy is, guys, I'm in this. I'm in this. All right, Mwemba, it's time to reveal who you voted to leave us in round one. Please reveal I got your, your sister. Oh, <laughs> it's getting spicy here. One vote, Mwemba, one vote, Terry. I'm interested to find out what's happening over here. We already have two people nominating themselves. That means it could be open season and we have no idea what's going on. So far, what's your opinion of how things have played out? Honestly, I may have picked the wrong person, but mm. <laughs> based off um, how they acted. It's a uh, little sus. Hey. Interesting. So without wasting any more time, Tuela, who have you voted to leave us in round one? Reveal your vote now. I'm sorry. Terry! <laughs> oh, Who wow. Votes Terry? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's getting hot in here. It is, it is, it is, it is. It is. Vanessa, <laughs> votes are flying left, right, and center. You are surrounded by a lot of people, and your neighbor is in hot soup. You know? Yeah. you know, it's <laughs> getting hot in here. So, Vanessa, without wasting any more time, tell us, Vanessa, who did you vote to eliminate from the game in this round? I'm sorry. Terry! Oh, oh my God. That's three votes for Terry, one vote Mwemba. Now, we still have two votes left. I feel like she's in wrong place. If those two votes are for Mwemba, then we have a tie. And in the event of a tiebreaker, the people or person with the least votes gets to decide who goes home between the two. Now, why Terry? She wasn't sure of what she was. If she was a blank check, she would have just said that in the first place. Right. But she was, she was there, <laughs> anonymous, <laughs> blank. So it was nervous, you know, mm. it wasn't too convincing. She controlled her nerves, but they were there. But they were there. Oh, you were detective. You could see under the skin, under the calmness. Mm -hmm. I see. Wrong judgment. Interesting. <laughs> we now have two votes to discuss. Yeah. London, yeah. you claimed to have had the money. Because I do. 
That's and you're sticking to it. That's your I'm story, like, my guy. Honest. That's your story, bro. Honest. Anyway, time will tell. We yeah. shall find out yeah. what you are actually holding on to. Now, London, you had said that you've got big plans. Yeah, I have. Big plans. So <clears throat> who did you vote for? I'm sorry, but I had to bravo. Mike! Mike. And Mike, finally, but not least, what do you think about that vote though? You know? Out of nowhere, out of nowhere. What's your comment? I'm hurt like? because like him and I like we clicked the first time we yeah. got here. We like, clicked, like, you know, you got wrong. to know. Indeed, we're going to be traveling, bro. And like, <laughs> dude, like, really? Yeah, we clicked, man. I'm hurt. You're hurt, man. Sure, man. I'm hurt. Ah, uh, it's tricky, I'm tricky, sorry, tricky. Bro. Mike, who did you vote for to leave us in round one? I'm sorry, but you know, I'm a better friend than you are, dog. <laughs> I kept you in the game. Oh, Terry! Bro, 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 bro. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, with four I votes, Terry has been eliminated. <laughs> Terry, how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling sad. I'm feeling sad. I'm feeling sad. It's like sad. you haven't gotten a chance to show exactly. what you could Exactly, and do. I'm feeling sad for being honest, because then I was like really honest. And yes, they I just got the, didn't. Yeah. Yeah, so they're going to regret the consequences. So let's inform them of the consequences of eliminating the very innocent Terry. Terry, I need you to get your card ready because now you're about to reveal it. I'm going to ask you whether you're a banker or a robber and you're going to reveal to us. So Terry, are you a banker or a robber? Let us know after this commercial break. supposed to change our lives but we did not know what we were about to unleash this is your gun huh? not even my dead mother can believe this this is not Kinshasa this is not Kopala this is Lusaka if you don't hustle <laughs> don't you dare forget who you're dealing with then you're probably the one being hustled which one of you guys is uh Shadrack? his English is not so good I am his interpreter hello he says hello I'm going to need 1500 dollars a week from where we need funding or else we're gonna lose this election boom does my nephew know everything where's my cash where's my girl what is this that, that is that. Money, it's not exactly above both. What money ever is, Ken? A set of good gases, give me some time! I'm not introduce you to this deal for you to cut me out. You've got no money in this account. What? What the hell was that? Where are we going? Change plan. I hope this was worth it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We have just had our first elimination and unfortunately, Terry has bitten the dust. <clears throat> Terry, unfortunately, this time has been cut short. Yeah. But we still need to find out what are the consequences for these lovely ladies and gentlemen who made such a big decision. Terry, are you a banker or a robber? Reveal your card now. Ladies and gentlemen, eliminating a blank check means they have now lost half the grand total. She tried to tell them they're making a big mistake and they did not listen. I tell yeah. Well, it's the way the game is played, unfortunately, Terry. Somebody has to go home. Your lying skills, unfortunately, have not been believed, so you must now go forth into the world and tell the truth. But before you go, the banker did say this is an immunity round. Now, in an immunity round, the first person eliminated gets to nominate who will be safe from immunity. 
With me here is a blank wild card. Terry must very secretly fill this card in. Don't let anybody see it, but show your tags so she can see everybody's name. Nice and clear. Please cover your writing with your hand. Make sure no one can see. It's very interesting stuff. And please place it in the envelope before you so that no one can see. Now, the person receiving immunity will be safe in round two, but no one knows who that person is. Close it up nice and tightly for us, please. All right. Thank you very much, Bianca. This could be worth 50,000. Please look after that very, very well. Well, now that that business is done, unfortunately, Terry, time has come for you to leave us. Thank you for participating. You've been a terrible liar, but a wonderful participant. You may now take the walk of shame. Fortunately, I lost because maybe I don't have like a believable face or I don't know what reasons they had, but yeah. Yeah, I feel bad that I have to lose like the money, guys. Who do I want money? Unfortunately, someone had to go and Terry took the bite, but with only one blank check eliminated, it starts to beg the question, who then is the actual robber? And who actually has the money? Let's find out. In the beginning, London, you were very <sighs> excited to tell everybody what card you had. Yeah. It's a very interesting strategy. We've never seen anything like that happen before. Oh yeah? yeah very, very interesting strategy. So London, how confident are you now that we are in the revealing stage? I, I still stand my ground because I I'm honest person. 100%? Yeah. So you're sure that what you're about to show us, everybody here is going to believe? Everybody. Yeah, they're going to see the truth for everybody. the first time. Yeah. Well, London, the time has come. Are you the banker or a robber? A 30,000. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, we have found the money. 30,000 kwacha possibly banked. We still have to find the more among us. Now, if Terry was not the robber, who is? Now, Terry did vote for Mwemba. So, Mwemba, let's, I guess, check in with you. Hmm. Mwemba, everybody's dying to know what you have. So, I'm going to ask you very quickly. Are you a banker or a robber? Reveal your card now. All right, guys, I got you. We have found the money and the robber. That means, Toela, your card is a blank check. Vanessa, a blank check. And Mike, you are not lying. You actually had a blank check. Well, unfortunately, eliminating a blank check means that your entire grand total have been, has been slashed. But because they did not eliminate the robber, ah, trouble, trouble, trouble. Now they bank 15,000 kwacha. Very, very, very painful. But that's the name of the game. And 15,000 kwacha is no small sum to sneeze at. Let's just hope we don't eliminate any more blank checks, shall we? All right. Now, in round two, that's the banker. Let's find out what he's saying. Hello, banker. Yes, that was very risky. In the first round? Are you crazy? Uh, now, nah, it's a figure of speech. Mm -hmm. All right. You're still confident. Okay. All right then. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, that was our esteemed banker. Now, he's got mixed feelings about how that round ended, but it's 50-50 for both of you. Both the banker and the contestants are probably feeling kind of, uh, and so he wants to stretch his luck. In this round, he's decided 
to make things a lot more interesting. He said he will tell you how much money he's putting in the round. So you have a little bit of extra information. But there's a catch. He's also put in a second robber check, making this round a double elimination. That means the two people with the highest votes at the end of this round will be eliminated. The stakes have just gotten very, very high. Your current bank stands at 15,000 kwacha and the banker is putting in this round 8,000 kwacha from the possible 10. That is what we are playing for in this round. Will you add it up to your total and bring it to 23,000 kwacha banked? Or will catastrophe strike again and will you keep a robber? As my lovely assistant is giving out the cards to the contestants to find out what role they will be taking, it's imperative to remember that this round is a lot more complicated. Yes, that's right. We have not one, but two robber's checks, which means it is a double elimination round. Now, because there are two robbers, the consequences just went up. Their best chance of keeping all the money is to eliminate both robbers. However, eliminating a blank check means something is going to get cut in half. Eliminating two blank checks means a lot of things are getting cut in half. And eliminating the money means you are taking nothing else to the next round. Will our contestants use their spidey senses a lot better than the first round? Now, contestants, round one threw us all through a loop, myself included. I think I am not fit to play this game because I am clearly okay. the worst at reading people. Very well played by Mwemba who did exactly what he had to do. But in the new round comes new cards and new odds at play. Right about now, contestants, I will invite you to first have a look at your roles for this round. Make sure you do it very carefully. If your neighbor sees, this could be very dangerous for every single one of you. Interesting. As you already know the rules, you will be given time to deliberate. Find the robber. The trading floor is now open. Your time starts now. I feel... Well... Just instinct. Um, he has the money, definitely. Um, these two are the robbers. So your own instinct, calling it out as it is, yes. the robbers are sitting These here. are the ones. And you believe that this The only person I truly believe, the money. like with my heart, that they're not the robber is him. That's it. Wow, Mike. Mike. Let, me just, let me just remind you one innocent. thing. Let me just remind you one thing. Uh -huh. When I go out with a blank, with a blank check, the one that I have, uh -huh. it means that money that we have will be split. Uh -huh. Same for me. If I go yeah. out with so, this, but, no, I, but I, why, like, why did you call out everyone? Yeah. yeah. Why yes. are we playing by your rules? Trust me. You're not playing by my rules. I'm just telling you what I think. You know, <laughs> she's giving a reach. You say no, but you also have a you also have a right black. to point. Black. She said black. What oh, she said black. Yeah, she said black. black. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Hey, I know might want to target I'm crowd. suspecting you, eh? I have a blank check. Uh, you're, you're going to split the money in half. Let me Definitely. Very, very sure. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to split the money. money. Okay, this what, time what, they're losing okay. money, innit? Let's do this. Yeah. Tell me the font for the blank check. <laughs> Add to the font. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to compare fonts. <laughs> it's, it's bold. I should say that. It's bold. Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. You haven't even looked. Yeah. <laughs> I did have a look. No, right now when I ask you, you did. Sister, sister, sister. I have a blank check. You're no, going to split also, the money. Uh, yeah, and you're suspicious. Somewhere there. Ah, uh, paso. Uh, uh, guys, I'm sorry, you have a nice smile, but I'm going to ask you. Are you moment. sure I'm you have a blank I'm very sure. Do you not make that mistake. Tell me, are you sure? It's getting hot in here. There are two robbers, but we have four blank checks and one money card. Of course. Then who was a robber? 
It's you. Do I have it? It's you. Look, look, you can't even fake a proper smile. Uh, you are the front robot. facing. This the one is definitely, yeah. um, unfortunately, yeah. bad luck has struck yeah. you again. Yeah. 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 What's yeah. wrong? Which was wrong? Drama design. But otherwise, I think you're the wrong guy. In it. So, Toela, Toela and Vanessa on the chopping block. I have a blank check. You have a blank check. I'm sure, I'm bitch. Sure. Do not make that mistake. Sure. That that uh, eight uh, will go in half. Like, just do us a solid so that we win some to my man. Yeah. I'm doing you a solid. I'm being honest. Okay, guys, let's let's let's, let's not forget. Two robbers here. And two, two blank checks. Robbers. No, I know so for sure one of the robbers is here. For for sure. Ish. Well, sure. it may be, but it's definitely not me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know okay. I know it's you again? Yeah. Like when you just saw it, like, you know how you're you rehearsing wish. what you're going to say so you don't like glitch when you say it? Yeah. Yeah, you're having like, uh. yeah, that's you. Well, that's your opinion. I should tell you. Very fair. But I'm going to tell you that I do not have the rules. Wow. <laughs> I'll tell you that too. Wow, 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 I just believed what you said because you were genuinely. And why can't you believe now? That would it one up a means. What if you're stressed? The first time you were ha- smiling, <laughs> you were just don't, like, hey. Don't play by the game. Hey. It could be any of them. At first, I was. At first, I was smiling. She was like, "You're smiling. You are the first one to speak." Okay, but this one is tricky, bruh. This one is tricky. Yeah. I feel like this one is unfortunate enough to have the yeah. robot thing again. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm I being think. targeted. And like, now, Mike, as the only person who has not been accused, who do you think has the has the robot cards here? Okay, I'm suspecting two people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Her. Interesting. And you, bro. Interesting. Bro. That money bro. will go in half. I'm telling you, the money is way halfway. Sure. You're using my words now, you. Mm-mm. It's not your words, it's the game's word. <laughs> the money's going out. You can only vote for one person. The two that have the highest votes will be eliminated. However, you can only vote for one of them. It's time to be clever, it's time to be strategic. To see who is going home. And who gets to stay in the game. Place your votes now. While our contestants are placing their votes, can you guess who will win the money at the end? Well, if you can, you stand a chance to win 5,000 kwacha. All you have to do is predict correctly who will remain, who will be the last man or woman standing. And if you can get that right, text that name to the number scrolling down below. And don't forget to like the page. Now, it's time to find out how the voting went. Ah, how are you feeling now? I'm how good. You, ah, you're so I'm just, I'm just sad that we just have to pick one person because then you can pick the wrong person. Ah, that's, there we go. That's the trick. That's the trick. The bankers are really tricky, dude. Absolutely. All right, we've come to that point, Vanessa. Who does your vote go to? Mwemba. Mwemba looks like the last round didn't sit well with the people. They, I think it's because they can't read you. You know, I don't think it's because you're a bad guy. I just think they just have trouble reading your face. So it's confusing, you know? Now, Mwemba, you were adamant in this round that you had a blank check and it was dangerous to eliminate you. So tell me, who did you vote for since you have a blank check? Well, or so you say. Well. I can say it. So please lift She's a lit banana. Toela! Toela! One vote, Mwemba, and one vote, Toela. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is getting hot. One vote, one vote. And because we're eliminating two, having one vote is enough to put you on the chopping block. Eh? It's a dangerous time. Tuella, what do you think about all these false accusations that are coming to you? Didn't you tell the people you had a blank check? Imwe. What are Kenya They don't know what they're doing. <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. All right, the moment has come, Tuella. We okay. need to find out 
who did you vote to um, leave us in this round? I love you, my guy, but I voted for London. Like, your London. smile wasn't selling it. And I may be wrong, I'm so sorry. It's okay. okay. Oh, London, London. One vote, Toela. One vote, London. One vote, Mwemba. Now, Mr. London, it seems being on this side of the aisle is dangerous because so far all the <laughs> votes are going much. in this particular direction. Uh. No one is throwing votes this side so far. Mr. London, how are you feeling? I'm all right. Very all right. Fit. Very confident. As usual. Yes, sir. Now it's time to find out. Please raise your placard. Don't reveal yet. I need to find out who you think the robber is, who you voted for, and why. I like you, baby, but I'm sorry. <laughs> Toela. Two votes, Toela. One vote, Mwemba. One vote, London. This is getting very spicy. Now, so far, all the votes have been on this side of the stage. Mike. What's up, sir? You have the deciding vote that determines which second person will be joining the eviction train. Because I have the money. Ah, you've stuck to that story, Mike. I, I, of course, you're a businessman. So now, Mr. Mike, I need you to raise your voting placard up to your chest, please. Thank you very much. Now, who have you voted to leave us in this round? Mwemba! Yeesh, yeesh, I'm yeesh, sorry, yeesh. bro. I need bro. Now, as this is a double elimination, the two people with the highest votes will be eliminated. But it doesn't end there. We still have to find out who has immunity. It's a very interesting time to be alive. Now, as the two people that have been eliminated, unfortunately, your time ends now. We must find out from you. First off, how are you feeling, Mr. Mwemba? Well, uh, I'm a little disappointed with him. Brotherhood man. No backup. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but however, it's a game. It's a game. It's a fun game. It's a fun game. All right, now the time has come, Mr. Mwemba. We want to find out what is inside that particular card. Let's hold it up to your chest. Ah! He's a robot! I knew it. I, I knew, knew it. it. <laughs> you got it. One foot in the door. 8,000 still up to play for. Now over to you, Madam Toela. We'll find out, are you a banker or a robber. Are you ready? Oh. I told you, I'm a lucky blank. girl. Uh, blank. blank. That means we still have a robber in play. Now, before we go any further with the revelations, we need to find out who has immunity. Now, my lovely assistant, Bianca, please hand over the wild card. In round one, the first person eliminated, which was Terry, gave a playing contestant immunity. The person in this card will be safe from elimination this round and get to trade places if they've been eliminated. If they are already safe, they get to stay put. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to find out who has immunity. Is this the right? I'm just playing with you. Oof. With me here is the person who is safe from elimination this round. The person who has immunity is. London. <laughs> Mr. London. Now, as London is safe from immunity, that means he can't be eliminated. But of course, he was not up for elimination anyway. So no harm, no foul. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. That means this actually is the end for our eliminated contestants. So London seems like he's a pretty genuine person. Even when he was talking, I actually knew he was being honest. I just wanted to be part of everybody's argument, say, hey, you have it, you have it. 
you know. So yeah, I gave my immunity to London. London, good luck. I'm rooting for you. Hopefully we get to hang out after. So before you go, I'm curious to find out who is the other robber and who actually has the money? Very interesting. Now, Vanessa, you said you had a blank card, but Mr. Mike was not so convinced. He thought you were one of the robbers. So I'm curious to find out, Vanessa, are you a banker or a robber? Blank check. Who messed with our money? Ah, this is getting very spicy. So we have a blank check left and the money left. One here could be the robber. Now in the last round, Mwemba had the robber first and he had the robber second. In this round, London had, in the first round, London had the money and we don't know if he has the money in this round. This round, Mike said he had the money. So let's start with Mike. Mike, are you a banker or a robber? Guys, I'm sorry to do this to you. Uh, I was... Ah! We found the money. I thought she was going to break our hearts. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that means the robber uh, for the round. Mr. London, please reveal your card. What are the consequences of eliminating the blank card? Well, we were already warned 50%. So, because they've eliminated the blank check, their grand total has been slashed, and the remaining grand total stood at 2,000 kwacha, which leaves 1,000 kwacha. Now, they still had a robber in London, and that cost them half the round's money. So their grand total bank stands at 19,000 kwacha. That is not small money to sneeze at. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. 19,000 kwacha, but unfortunately, this is the end of the road. For you, Mwemba, that Runix still has to wait another day. Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's gonna have to wait. Yeah, it's gonna have to wait. Toella, you played valiantly. Thank I was you. so sure you had your your nose. Actually, all your predictions came out right. But unfortunately, they decided they were intimidated <laughs> by the the clarity, the sharpness, eh? It was just too clear, too too straightforward for them, and right. they just decided, yeah, yeah. yeah. She got to go. Yeah, unfortunately. But ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. it seems lying is not our thing, thankfully. Now we can go and only tell the truth. Yeah. Thank you for participating. You've been wonderful participants. Thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, that's not the way with my heart, baby. It's the side. <laughs> now, currently, their bank total stands at a massive 19,000 cool cash. And they could still add more money to that tally. Now, there is still a thousand kwacha left in the bank, which could take their tally to about 20,000 kwacha. Now, it's going to be interesting to see how the next round plays out because the banker, the banker, always on cue, is calling. Hello, Mr. Banker. Another mixed round, yes, yes. So 50-50 for everybody, yeah? 50 of the money here, 50 of the money gone. It's not enough. Hmm? What do you suggest? Ah. All right then. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the bank. Now, both rounds have been bittersweet, you know? We've won some, he's lost some, he's won some, we've lost some. But so he wants to put the final game in once and for all. He wants to know who's going to get the better of the banker. He wants to know who will be the champ, the contestants or the banker. Now, in this round, he's decided to make things interesting. Sweep the deal. As you know, there is only a thousand kwacha left in the bank that can be played for. He's decided to double it. That means you can now add 
2,000 kwacha, bringing your grand total to 21,000 kwacha, which could be yours. That's a lot of money. Let's go. However, this is the banker. Tricky little man. The banker has decided because he's doing double, you should also risk double. So it's double or nothing. If you eliminate the robber correctly, you double the money in the round. If you eliminate a blank check, you lose half of everything, including what's in the bank. And if you eliminate the money, no money gets added to your tally. Ladies and gentlemen, as my assistant is handing out the cards for the last time in the elimination section of this particular game, it's imperative that they pay absolute attention to every single piece of information, as currently a lot is at stake. If they find the robber, that's great. They add 2,000 kwacha to their total tally, bringing it to 21,000 kwacha. But if they eliminate the person with the blank check, that cuts down their entire money down to half, bringing it down to 10,000 kwacha. If they eliminate the money though, nothing gets added and they move on to the grand final with 19,000 kwacha. Let's check in with our contestants. Spicy, spicy, spicy. Now in the first round, we had a lot of action and I kind of missed the first round because it's so quiet in here. Everybody's looking at each other with these dagger eyes, analyzing everything, beard movement, eye earring movement, you know, forehead shine. Is it shining a little too much to the left? It's so intense right now. But as you know, this is the game. Be careful not to eliminate any blanks. The trading floor is now open. Your time starts now. I got the money. Uh, that worked the first time. I, I have a said. blank. I have a blank as well. So <laughs> you know the reason why I'm not. Yo, that tone. That tone. No, you know the reason why I'm not pushing so hard right now. Mm. It's because I feel. I know what happened to to Mwemba. We didn't trust him. That's what I feel right now. I feel like you guys don't trust me. But there's one thing about me. I can't lie twice. Oh. Oh. I was feeling guilty. I was feeling guilty about what happened to Joela, yeah? I was feeling guilty. I had to go to the toilet. I had to drink what I was feeling so guilty. Oh, yeah. But now, I feel like in heaven for me. Because that's it's out of the system. Yeah, yeah. Because I feel there's hope now. I have I stand a chance to speak the truth again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if you guys don't believe me, I don't blame you. You can look at me all you want, but I remember you, you, the money. you vote me out. Sha, 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 sha. Ah. You need to cut it. <laughs> <laughs> We're just cutting a thousand because I believe we have like a thousand. Yeah. People. So you will still eliminate your money. Mm -hmm. What's a thousand quatch? Oh, do you want to Ladies and gentlemen, are you cutting in the meat? Yes. The trading floor is now closed. Yes. Not... No more discussions. As our contestants write down their votes for possibly the last time in this elimination round. It's a spicy one, as this is a double or nothing round. The banker was feeling very, very saucy and energetic. It's time to find out how our contestants have voted. Whew. Ah, it's getting hot in here, man. Getting hot in here. Now, London, this has been a topsy-turvy game, but a game is a game. For me. Unfortunately, you have to play, it's like the saying goes, you have to play the cards that you were dealt, man. It's all that you can do. Now, London, going into this, you were telling us earlier that you felt really, really bad, and yeah. it's not your character. I want you to just take a moment and just tell the people listening, contestants, and the people at home, who the real London is. I know uh, I'm an actor, but besides that, there's a part where people don't understand. I sing at church, and I'm a Christian full-time, which is something that I would, if I lie, it will hit it really me down. Hits on you. Because I stand in front yeah. every Sunday, singing to people, preaching. Yeah. Yeah? It's like I'm a pastor, yeah, you understand? So uh, if, if I yes. lie, then... It's bad. Yeah, I see. that's why I felt bad at first, but now I'm confident and I want to let you nobody fall. Yeah. I understand. Well, time has come, London. Yeah. Please, 
show everybody who are you voting to leave this round? I'm sorry, sweetheart. Boo, bro. bro. Mike, Mike. Second time you betrayed me, bro. Second time, second time, sorry, Mike. Bro. Sorry, bro. Mike. Sorry. You voted for me too? <laughs> Sorry, bro. Mike! Uh, <coughs> how are you feeling? Twice, man. Oh, well, now I'm nervous. Now you're nervous <laughs> because your name's just come up on the cards. Yeah. yeah, but this could go either way. This could go either way. So, but Mike, the way she's looking at me. <laughs> she's not making you feel uh, very, very reassured. It's like, whoa, Mike. did you put me to? <laughs> it's very, very interesting. Yeah. All right, Mike, it's time to reveal. Please raise your placard and show us. Who are you voting to be eliminated? London. London. Zambia. One vote London, one vote Mike. That means Vanessa, huh. your vote could either be worth 21,000 kwacha or 10,000 kwacha. How are you feeling right now? Also to be the only person without a vote. That means whatever strategy you had worked. Yeah, just, mm, that's nerve wracking because this choice is huge. All right, <laughs> Vanessa, it's time to review. I'm sorry. Who you <laughs> voted for? Mike! You made the right decision, honey. So, Mike said he had the money, and we voted out the money. London said he had the blank check, and London is safe. Vanessa said she had the blank check. She said, now, Mike, come to that moment where we need to find out the consequences of this particular decision. We need to know, Mike, what's in your little envelope. It's time to reveal, Mike. I'm always yeah. what I say I am, man. I'm always what I say I am, man. I'm gonna give you transport, bro. Thousand. <laughs> Money gone thousand. down the drain. <sighs> That's very interesting. Now, thank you very much for your participation, Mike. But unfortunately, it only got you this far. You know, the convincing story only got you this far. But it leaves us to ask, so where is the robber? Now, you were suspected the first round. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know what Vanessa's feeling right now. <laughs> I understand you totally. It's time to find out. <clears throat> London, are you a banker or a robber? It's time to reveal. Oof. I was honest. Right. Hallelujah. Everybody. So ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> that means the person who has the robber's check is... Hey, now. Now that Yo, does mean that's not just, uh. <laughs> now that does mean we do have an elimination and Mike, unfortunately, your time uh, is game Oh, has bro, I owe you something, man. Thank you for your time, guys. Thank you for participating. <laughs> Let's see if we can get an answer to those DMs. <laughs> you betrayed me, Vanessa. <laughs> now. We've gone through three grueling rounds of eliminations. It's been twists and turns, heartbreak, change of hearts, and most importantly, deception. Now, we are finally here with our two champions in London and Vanessa, who have been able to convince their way all the way to the final. Now, that hasn't always been straightforward as in various rounds they've both had the robber and they've had to convince each other that they were not the robber. Now it is the final round and the question remains, can a leopard change its spots? Will they be able to do the one thing they did not plan to do when they came here and that is work together and trust each other? Only time will tell. Now. Congratulations, Vanessa and London. You are in the finals. You're playing for 19,000 kwacha. It's quite a lot of money. And speaking of 19,000 kwacha, our lovely assistant, Bianca. <clears throat> very sharp on the eyes, yeah? Thank you very much. It's time to play Bank It or Rob It. Now, in Bank It or Rob It, you both get two choices. Either Bank It or Rob It. And it's very simple. If you both bank it, 
you share the money. If one of you banks it and the other robs it, the one that robs it wins the money, the one that banks it goes home empty-handed. If you both rob it, unfortunately, money needs to be banked before it can be robbed, you will both go home with nothing. Now, in a moment, I will give you a chance to deliberate and have your discussions. For the final time in this episode, the trading floor is now open. If you're gonna break my trust, yeah? You're risking my life and any other person that I'm gonna meet in life because I will never ever trust nobody, not even my girlfriend. So I want you right now to just be honest with me. I am honest. I've never felt this helplessness. I'm sure you can see. Mm. Yeah? My brother knows me there and he's the first time he's seen me like this because I'm a jovial person. So don't break my trust. I got you. And what makes you think you won't get the robbers? Because when we get the robbers, we walk out with nothing. I don't want to walk out with nothing. I came here with nothing. I came for money. So better half than nothing. I don't have a problem sharing the money. Yeah? I don't have a problem too, but don't rob. Please. Your smile is disturbing me, but yeah. <sighs> I got you. I need to hear you. I need to be assured, Vanessa, right now. I got you. Why did it take you time to just say it? <laughs> <sighs> You're putting me on the spot, but how, how sure I am, how, am I that you won't rob it? I'm gonna trust you. I know it, I always, people always say, you, London, you easily trust people and it's gonna cost you one day. So, I don't know if this is the day they told me it's gonna cost me, but if, it, not today. if it's gonna cost me, then let it cost me. Maybe tomorrow, but not today. Let it cost me. I'm good. All right. Time for deliberation is over. You must now, with your own hand, write down your decision. You must write it in capital letters, rub it or bank it, depending on what your choice is. You may make your decision now. Contestants, have you made your decisions? I'll take that as a yes. Now I will ask you to raise your placard to your chest. Now, for the final time, I'll give you the opportunity to change your mind. If you want to change your mind, you can do that right now. You want to change your mind? Are you okay with your decision? I'm all right. I know it's going to cost me, but I'm okay. Are you okay with your decision? Are you a good actor? I'm not. That's I'm not casted, honey. I've been casted. You'd have been seeing me on TV all the time if I was a wow actor. Yeah. Well, it's time to find out. On my mark, I will count to three, and you will reveal your cards. One. <sighs> Two, three, review your decision. I'm gonna give you transport. Ladies and gentlemen, this is bank page. No. No. I'm gonna give you something. No. I'm gonna give you something. No, you're not coming out with that money. No. Well, there you have it. That concludes today's episode. We have a winner and someone walks away with 19,000 kwacha and the other goes home empty handed. Looks can be deceiving. Beware, beware, beware. My name is Kasana Mwape and we'll see you next time. This has been Bankers and Robbers. The story he gave me, he has people, he has a a uh, church member, he's, he has farm Chani Chani. 
<laughs> I can't talk. Okay, yeah, so yeah, um, people that know me on a personal level, they know I sing at church, which sooner or later you're gonna hear me out there because I'm planning to take my singing serious, not just at church. And this has nothing to do about me singing at church. In fact, I'm gonna get some rabbis to church so that they can do one or two things that side for God, of course. Zadi Films Original.